Hi Sassy, this is Dr. Warren and I want to do a walkthrough of your class, your wonderful class, uh, and uh, just give you some feedback on it. First of all, I'd like to say that uh, your welcome message is fantastic. I, you give them an overview of the amount of time uh, spent in the class. You have the instructor contact info. If you wanted to, you could and I believe in the next class, EDU 609, you'll add an instructor bio, which I think is a, would be really good to have, especially with this audience, because they want to know what your uh, chops are, basically. They want to know that you um, know what you're talking about and that you are um, experienced enough to teach this class. So uh, that's typically what we find in a um, corporate setting that the students want to know that the facilitator has uh, some knowledge in this area. Your course description is fantastic. Uh, you have a great little welcome message and who the learners are and then you give them kind of an overview of the growth and fixed mindset. Awesome. The pictures, I love graphics and this is just a great uh, course description and as a learner I'm just gonna walk myself down your menu and I'm gonna go to module one and I'm just gonna start at the top and work my way down T gives me an idea of uh, what the course learning goals are fantastic great great uh, um, learning objectives okay and as I move my way down uh, I'm looking at module one assignment and they're going to give, be given a list of 12 traits right here and they're going to determine which is fixed and which is a growth mindset. And they're going to kind of guess. Okay, then I'm I'm seeing that I'm assuming that the second module is going to be where they're actually going to be learning the material. So if I look at this, uh, okay, so you've got how mindsets work, and these are the things they're going to be able to do, and they're going to what are they going to do? Um, so I'm looking for the lesson. I'm seeing the rubric. I'm seeing the step one. Think about your current role. Perfect. This is great. Okay, reflect on your answers. Okay, but where are you teaching them? Where are you teaching them about fixed and growth mindsets? I'm not seeing any lessons anywhere yet about what is a fi about fixed and growth mindsets. A video. Um, why it's important to have a growth mindset how it connects to them as business people, people in an organization. So definitely need more lesson, more content here. Um, or maybe it's in your final module. Let's look. Okay, piece of growth, what is the mindset? Yeah, see this stuff should be earlier, I think, Sassy. Um, yeah, I think this should be in module two, not in your final module. Uh, module 2 identified their mindset. Watch the videos, put it together, develop your growth. Yeah, you know what? I would take everything from here down to uh, step 2, and you do have a typo there. And I would make that module 2, modules 1 and 2. I would kind of reinfuse your modules 1 and 2 with some of this content. Okay, the introduction. I would put this introduction video into module one and then I do the other stuff in module two. And then now in module three, putting it all together, turning on your growth mindset, breakout sessions. This is a lot for a final module. Just kind of reabsorb some of the other um, activities into your earlier modules. That's what I would do. And then after the role play, um, they're going to, let's see, work towards the leader, ask the employee three questions. So then I'm assuming that after the role play, they are going to then just kind of, I guess, debrief and, and discuss what it all means and the implications to the workplace. So I think, you know, making that clear, implications to the workforce and to themselves and their lives, you know, I would definitely um, pop that a little bit more, okay? All in all, fantastic work. You um, have a real talent for this. This is an awesome module, awesome lesson. Um, and uh, it's obvious you're putting yourself in the classroom with these students. So nice work. Thank you. 
Hi class, I just wanted to send you off with an example of uh, what you're going to be working on when you go to your EDU 609 class. Uh, you should have come out of the EDU 602 with your course sites pretty much ready to go with some lessons in it. And I just want to show you Sassy's site because she has the structure in place. So. Um, Sassy's class is about a growth mindset and she's got a nice little intro talking about um, what the course is about, how long it's going to take to go through it, a little bit of how to contact the instructor and I suggest also that she added uh, instructor bio about who she is, a little bit about who she is. Over to the left you'll see your menu and so then after a nice welcome you want to go to the course description students typically go from top to bottom and so if I click on course description uh, she's got a great graphic which is engaging pulls me in makes me want to take the class learn a little bit about it who's going to be participating and then she goes right into the teaching the lessons so in this module she's got um, the learning objectives and she's got some really great learning objectives and then she's also got an assignment or an activity that they're going to be doing. I suggested to her that she also add some resources to teach a little bit about what is a fixed and growth mindset and how to and uh, you know how that kind of what the definition of it is kind of a little bit about it. That's a nice thing to have in the first module. In module two they dig in a little deeper She's got her performance objectives for module two, and she's got, um, she jumps right to the rubric. I suggested she also add some more resources there to teach that lesson. And in her final module, then she's got a third module, which is her training module. So I uh, just wanted to give you guys a real quick um, overview of, of the format of the class. Again, a welcome, a course description, module one, and for sure module two, possibly a module three, and uh, that's a great way to be positioned to go into your EDU 609 class. Okay, thanks everybody, and thank you Sassy for your excellent work and for allowing me to share the class with uh, your, your class with the class. Thank you.